Hello students, welcome to Edusil. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the easy reductions named as using convex hull. We will be finding out the sorting techniques or might be the output of sorting technique could be found out using convex hull. It, it is written like sort and reduces to or polynomial reduces to convex hull. Okay. Those who are new kindly watch the previous videos of reductions. Here, the problem is written as convex hull, okay, but the convex hull could be, a, you can say, a poly a polygon. We are just creating like polygon, like polygon means there might be many sides, okay, could be possible, which is also a target should be containing all the points. The S contains n number of points, which is our input, okay, in a plane. The output should be what exactly the convex hall would be like our when we are creating the polygon might be you can say the points are written like this okay suppose these are the points what we have to do like if you are just connecting all the points this is one of our problem as well as the main target is we should whatever the polygon we have generated that polygon should consist all points okay whatever the points would be that should consider all the points this is what it is written that should be our output a polygon could be formed in convex hall basically why we are saying it is convex that we know convex would be like this okay if this type of thing could be occurred or might be certain things could be generated we can say it is convex just opposite to that or might be suppose in this order you are getting it is concave or in in other order suppose you are getting it is considered as con concave okay so though it is like this so we can say it is convex means it is not exactly like this might be whenever you are just finding based on the anti-clockwise whichever the lowest value we are getting from this is 180 degree whenever we are finding the values as for the Jarvis method in con uh, convex hall so our target should be in a plane, uh, definitely a plane will have 180 degree, okay, this is 180 degree. Anticlockwise, which is the lowest for us, like here it will check, here also it will check, here also it will check, okay, the anticlockwise it will check, whichever is lowest degree, so that will pick first with a connection could be established. This is how we are just keeping, or uh, we will be creating one polygon through which all the points will be covered within that. This is what the convex hall, uh, the name of convex hall we are generating because of kind of convex type of things we are generating. That is why we are saying it is convex hall. Okay. So using sort, how we can, uh, sorry, uh, how using convex hall, how we can you uh, get the sorting uh, might be the result of sort, how, could, uh, how we can get it. This is what it is written. S represents all number of all the N points. Then what we have to do is we have to follow certain conditions. What, what condition? Create the points. Whatever the points we are creating, that should be as like if we are taking this is our X axis. This should be our Y axis. So what should be our condition is X, which uh, is suppose you have taken X as 1. The y should be x square, which is 1 to the power 2, which is 1. Means the point for x, y will be 1, 1. If you are taking x value as 2, y value will be x square. This should be the condition, otherwise it will not work. And always in a reduction, we should have certain terms and conditions. That's why I kept this as our third video, through which you can at least know condition must be there. Sometimes condition is not there. But condition why we are putting because we are trying to solve it with a prerequisite knowledge that's why we are keeping this one okay so 2 does 2 is 4 so the point could be written as 2 comma 4 this is what the point we can expect as per this condition okay next what it written call subroutine of convex hall what i told you like the call subroutine means the anticlockwise it will check like which one is less than 180 degree means it will check with n minus one number of points okay 
the minimum you can say minimum <coughs> angle or minimum theta value normally we are saying this is our theta minimum theta value will be selected first based on that we are covering all this is using the Jarvis method okay so we are just calling that one from the left, left once it is done from the left most uh, we are trying to find it find from the left to right if you are finding the value of the points definitely we will expect these points are in sorted order I kept this uh, you know graph for you through which we can easily understand for first point we can say it is 1 comma 1 this is first point for the second point suppose you are introducing 2 comma 4 could be expected because 2 to the power 2 then 3 if you are putting so it is 9 why because 3 3 square okay I am just making it more clear 1 comma 1 could be expected 2 2 square means 2 4 could be expected third point could be 3 here I am just writing 3 square which is 9 suppose you try to make it here whenever we are trying to find the convex hall okay we created the convex hall we are just finding the using convex hall what is written on the right hand side that we know and what is written on the left hand side this is unknown for us okay so convex hall we know how to make it once the convex hall is completed in second portion it is written once it is read, uh, completed so what we have to do from left to right from left from left to right we are just counting the values or the points what we will get if I start from left to right this is from left to right we are running point 1 point 2 so we will be expecting this is our sorted order you can check 1 1 then 1 2 3 these are our sorted order in x axis this is our x axis value this is a y-axis value okay this is how we are getting the thing you know sorted way this is what it is written and the uh, time complexity we will expect as n log n in general we are expecting this as n log n so that's why we are using convex hall using convex hall we will be finding the sorting of the number okay so it is written like this so i hope it is clear to you if any doubt please comment below thank you have a good day